you can download vector images and import them into PowerPoint. After that, you can use all the objects you have imported. So after looking closely, did you ever wonder how people prepare those really outstanding presentations that really look high class and high budget, nice animation videos with use of perfect illustrations? Well, not many people know this, but it is possible to use vector images in PowerPoint. Let me show you how to do it. I just go to icon finder and grab any vector image I can find. I write, for example, user. I want the image to be vector. And I want, of course, a free image. This would be perfect, a orange, nice colored one. It doesn't matter which icon. I just want to show you the possibilities of using a vector icon. And SVG is one of the vector formats. Other vector formats are, for example, PDF, EPS, AI. There are, of course, many other types, but let's use a common one like that. Now I'm opening the image quickly in Illustrator to show you what do we need to do to use it in PowerPoint. As Illustrator has already opened, I make it a bit bigger. I resize the artboard. I make also the image a bit bigger to see it better. All right, what we need to do with the image is go to File, Export, and save the image as an enhanced meta file. After we saved it, we can use it in PowerPoint. And do not worry if you do not use Illustrator. There is absolutely no problem. Just write in Google your image, your vector image type, and that you want to convert it to EMF. As we see, there are multiple websites which can handle that. Because I already saved it as an EMF, let me show you how to use it in PowerPoint. I close down the websites. As you see, the file is already there. Let me make a quickly a new slide, delete everything from it. Now we have this icon. This would be nothing special, but we can right click on it, group and ungroup. We just confirmed it, this by clicking yes. And as you see, I have the vector image completely dismantled. I can make ungroup again and I have different vector elements which I can use. And what's even better, I go to Drawing Tools, I go to Edit Shape, Edit Points. As you see, all these images are vector files. They are perfectly scalable. No matter how big they will be, they will always remain perfectly and high quality files. So not everyone knows about this, but you can use vector files in PowerPoint without any problem. So you can, for example, purchase wonderful illustrations or even search them over the internet. This will work quicker on nicer presentations. So thank you for your attention. And I hope this is a trick you didn't know and will use from now on always.